Okay, so week one is in the books in the NFL, and we are on to week two. This is also my second time recording this video, my first time. Some very smart individual forgot to select this microphone as his audio input device. So, let's give it another go. Thursday, September 17th, tomorrow, 8.20 p.m. on NFL Network, the 0-1 Cleveland, uh, Cincinnati Bengals visiting the 0-1 Cleveland Browns. I was going to get it right eventually. So, uh, Cincinnati um, didn't like what I saw out of them at all. I saw a check down Charlie in, in, in Cincinnati. I'm not sold on Joe Burrow. I don't think that he's going to be anything like people predict he's going to be. Um, I think that Baker Mayfield is still the better quarterback. I just think that people are a little stuck in their ways, and for some reason they... They want to see Burrow succeed, but he's definitely not as good as is Baker Mayfield, and I think that's going to become very apparent. Uh, Cleveland bought, Cleveland got clowned by Baltimore, and, and Joe Burrow's a pretender. Randy Bullock is also an a-hole, just so everybody's aware. I want to make sure that point is abundantly clear. So then, on Sunday, September the 20th, we have the 1-0 Jags and the 1-0 Titans in Nashville. Uh, the Jaguars, I take back everything negative I said about you. Honestly, I, I talked all that smack about how bad you guys were going to be and, and how you were going to go home in 16, but here you are, 1-0, proving me wrong. In Tennessee, they didn't look right. Tennessee did not look right at all. They paid all that money to Tannehill and to Henry, and it, it did not pay dividends in my opinion. So I, I, I would like to see more out of those two. Um... And Goskowski missing four total kicks was really a bummer. I'm glad he got to hit the game winner, but I hope that he rebounds next week in this game. Uh, I'm picking Jacksonville, though, in the upset. I think that they honestly have shown me more on both sides of the football. So they're going to be my pick. Then the own one Panthers and the own one Bucks. What is there to say about the Buccaneers? Uh, they've got too much talent. They didn't have enough time during the offseason to, to gel. And to try to uh, get this, get this entire system integrated. So it's going to take some time for them. And Carolina, they need to get McCaffrey involved in a bad way. Um, they really struggled without getting McCaffrey involved. And I know the the point total isn't necessarily indicative of the fact that I said that they struggled, but without McCaffrey really getting involved in the game, it's kind of hard. You know, to say that you aren't struggling. So if they can get McCaffrey involved early and often, they can beat Tampa Bay. And as a matter of fact, I'm going to pick Carolina in the upset to take on and take out Tampa Bay in this game. Then the 0-1 Broncos in the 1-0 Steelers. So the Broncos, uh, even as injury riddled as they are, I, I, can't, I can't sit here and say that they're a bad team. Uh, they just they need to get healthy. They need to get healthy, and then they need a, a better head coach, better than Vic Vangio, because he he really blew that game for them. And they'd be they'd be one and zero right now if they knew how to, or they could be one and zero right now if they knew how to man, or if he knew how to manage timeouts. But I guess it was not to be, unfortunately. In Pittsburgh, I got to see them firsthand, and they look as good as anybody in the league right now. They're a playoff team for sure. I'm not saying Kansas City's got to watch out, but the Steelers will be in the mix at the end of the year. And I'm, I'm going to pick the Steelers. They just they look too good right now. Then the 1-0 Rams and the 0-1 Eagles. The Eagles somehow got beat by Washington. And I said last week if Washington beat Philadelphia, I'd pick Washington to win the Super Bowl. So here you have it. My official Super Bowl 55 prediction is the Washington football team. Uh, coming out on top. I hate my life. But I'm going to pick... What game am I at? I'm, <laughs> I'm going to pick the Rams. Uh, they look good. They beat Dallas. Dallas is ostensibly all around the better team when looking comparatively between them and Philadelphia. Philadelphia is also very injury riddled. So they're going to be susceptible to a lot of big plays from Cam Akers and Jared Goff. So I like the Rams in this matchup. They're my pick. And the 0-1 49ers and the 0-1 Jets. I need to stop 
hearing Jets fans talk about Sam Darnold being better than Josh Allen because they're out of their mind and they need to seek professional help. Uh, I'm picking the 49ers in this game. They are, without a doubt, the better team. If only Kyle Shanahan could learn how to stop blowing leads, then maybe they'd be even better. Uh, I, I think that the hangover's real. They're not going back to the NFC Championship game, but they'll win this game. I'm picking San Francisco. Then the Buffalo Bills and the Miami Dolphins. Buffalo's 1-0, Miami's 0-1. Miami played well for a team that lost and had piss-poor quarterback play. But uh, I, I like Buffalo in this game. If Josh Allen can reel in that accuracy just a little bit more, then we've got a legitimate contender for an AFC title right there. Uh, I like Buffalo in this game. Then the 0-1 Vikings will visit the 0-1 Colts. Neither of these teams impressed me. Matter of fact, both of them severely disappointed me. Hi, the train. I don't know if you guys can hear that, but the train has made his long-awaited return in one of my videos. He hasn't been featured in in many a year, so welcome back, Mr. Train. Uh, but I'm going to pick Minnesota in this game. The Colts just, how do you lose to that team? How do you get beat by the Jacksonville Jaguars? I just, I don't believe it. I don't believe it. I've got uh, Minnesota in this game. It's going to be a, a tight one, but I'm picking the Vikings. Then the 0-1 Lions and the 1-0 Packers. The Lions blew a lead to Mitchell Trubisky and lost. The Packers did not. I'm picking Green Bay. The 0-1 Falcons and the 0-1 Cowboys. The Falcons are probably the best 0-1 team right now. IMHO, as the kids would say. And Dallas looks perfectly Dallas. They'll probably go 7-9, 8-8, somewhere around there. Uh, but Dallas is dealing with injury problems now, and Atlanta looked really good, all things considered, even though they had to run into the brick shit house that is the Seattle Seahawks. So I'm picking Atlanta in this game. Then the New York Giants and the Chicago Bears. Giants are on one, Bears are one and oh. I wish badly that that was the opposite. But um, if, if we can't beat Mitchell Trubisky after how well we played against a team that's going to the playoffs. In, in Pittsburgh, in my opinion, I think they're going. Uh, and the Giants played them fantastically. I mean, genuinely, they played them very, very well for a team of our caliber going against a team of that caliber. So I'm very excited to see what the Giants can do. But if we lose to Mitchell Trubisky, I might jump off a bridge. Um, and not onto water, probably onto some very, very hard concrete. So I, I have to pick the New York Giants in the game unless I want to die. Then the 1-0 Washington football team takes on the 1-0 Arizona Cardinals. Cardinals, they're better. They're better than Washington. Washington eked out a win against, well, they had a, a big comeback, but you get what I mean, against a very hobbled Philadelphia Eagle team, of which I I know I talked uh, Carson Wentz up a lot last week, but just watching them play, it's, it's very painfully obvious. That even through the injury problems, they're not going to be a good team. So I have to pick Arizona in this game just based on what they did last week. And Kyler's going to get better week by week. So they're my pick. Then the 1-0 Kansas City Chiefs against the 1-0 Chargers. The Chargers barely won against Cincinnati. And the Chiefs are the Chiefs, so they're my pick. Uh, the 1-0 Ravens against the 0-1 Texans. Texans got punked by said Chiefs. Ravens beat up on the Browns. Um, Ravens are the closest thing to Kansas City in the AFC that there is, so I'm taking the Ravens. Unfortunately, I'm sorry, Deshaun. I'm buying your book. Don't worry. Uh, I, I still love you. Then on Sunday Night Football, the 1-0 Patriots taking on the 1-0 Seahawks. Uh, this game is so interesting to me. Both these teams look very good. The Patriots look like contenders for the AFC East, if or at the least, and then the the Seahawks look like probably the favorites to come out of the NFC uh, and go to the Super Bowl at this juncture. And I know it's only week two, so that's a lofty expectation. But I'm going to pick Seattle in this game. I just think with with how familiar everyone is to that system and, and to those players there in Seattle versus Cam Newton coming into a new system and he's still learning it and, and that defense is still dealing with some of the the COVID opt-outs. I have to pick Seattle. They just they appear better and they they played better last week. So I'm gonna pick the Seahawks on Sunday night, and then Monday night football. The 1-0 Saints 
open up the Death Star with the 1-0 Raiders. Uh, I'm picking the Raiders in an upset, just spoiler alert. Uh, I, I really like what they did, um, and, I, and I'm going to eat crow, too. They proved me wrong. I said without Mariota, I didn't think they were going to be able to do nothing. But they proved me wrong, and I should have known as soon as I as soon as I saw Marcus Mariota, or excuse me, as soon as I saw Derek Carr rather walk out onto the field with a shooter sleeve and Jordans on, I knew it was over. I knew it was over the minute the dude walked out looking like a baller. And if he wears that exact fit on Monday night, they're gonna win again in an upset. Uh, Saints check down artists. They're only they're only bread and butter is creative plays that you can't really predict. So I, I like the Raiders and, and possibly a shootout, but they're my pick. So there you have it, the abbreviated, the Spark Notes version of Week Two from your boy. Uh, I didn't really have time to film this video because, like I said, I already filmed it once. So this is now entering my second hour straight of talking about the same games in a row. So thank you all for bearing with me. Uh, if I sound a little agitated or tired, then you understand where that's coming from. But I tried to make this sound as refreshing, as jovial as possible, uh, without actually desperately wanting to put my head in a microwave. So there you have it. Everybody enjoy some football this week. Stay safe. Stay healthy. Uh, keep your family inside. Wear your mask, hand sanitize, wash your hands, all that good stuff. Uh, keep the, the, the health and safety of your neighbors in question every time and, and at the forefront of your mind every time you go out outside your front door. Uh, that's what we're doing right now. We're all, we're all working together to beat this thing, and we will. So thank you all for watching. I appreciate it so much. It means the world to me. And I will catch each and every one of you in week three.